Hi there, welcome to section three of Ecosystems Key Area. So that's the first key area of Unit 3, Life on Earth. We are on the home stretch. We are nearly finished this massive course. And this part is going to be on competition. So the two types of competition and their features should be nice and short for this one. It's a very small idea to cover. Okay, so we're looking at the two types of competition and different examples of them. Uh, you have to name the two types, describe the two types, give examples of intraspecific competition in animals and plants, and give examples of interspecific. That's mainly just practicing your skills of being able to identify each type of competition. So competition occurs when different organisms niches overlap. Now what that means is, is when one or two or more organisms require the same resource. So for example, in this one, the golden retrievers, they all require the ball. Okay, so competition is occurring for the ball. But this could happen with water, with light for plants, it could happen with uh, mating partners as well, if they're the same species as each other. OK, so animals compete for these things, food, water, space, shelter, mates, not pals. We're talking about breeding partners for that one. OK, uh, plants compete for light, water, minerals in the soil, space and nutrients in the soil as well. Minerals and nutrients are slightly different things uh, from from this. OK. Types of competition number one is intraspecific and interspecific. Okay, a uh, good way to remember the interspecific one is it's like international. International means you've got something happening between different countries. Interspecific is talking about things happening between different species. OK, so intraspecific competition is competition that occurs between two or more members of the same species. OK, so that's the important definition there. So that'd be the competition between two zebras or two lions or uh, two oak trees. Again, it can happen between plants. They can be pretty competitive, just not at kind of animal level. Um, when stags, they rut in I want to say October, but I might be wrong there, uh, is the stags that basically fight each other for the rights to breed with females. That again is intraspecific competition. Interspecific competition is competition that occurs between 
members of different species okay so one or more two or more members of different species for example this eagle and this snake both competing for let's say there's a dead rabbit on the ground okay um so this can happen for things like water food sources the most common ones that i see in david attenborough films is um lions have just killed a buffalo and hyenas try and compete for the carcass of that buffalo and try and chase the lions off it Red and grey squirrels are a good example of interspecific because they are different species from each other. The red is a different species from the grey squirrel. Um, they compete for most of the same things. They've got very similar niches in terms of food, in terms of habitat. Um, the grey at the moment is winning the battle because the grey squirrel uh, carries a particular disease that does not kill the grey, but it does kill the red. So they're actually showing themselves to be a slightly stronger competitor right now. Now, that doesn't mean they should win because the importing of the grey squirrel, they came from America, is artificial, was human. Humans dragged them across the, the sea because they thought they were interesting. Um, and unfortunately, they're an invasive species. So it's not like it should happen because the red squirrel has a particular niche in terms of being a food source for other creatures that the grey squirrel doesn't. Uh, plants and seeds can also um, do interspecific competition. Uh, it does tend to be particularly on the rainforest floor, you find competition is extremely intense. When a big tree falls over, it leaves a little gap of light. And there's essentially a race of all the dormant seeds that were in the ground at that time to try and grow and big, make big leaves that block out as much of the light to other um, plant species as possible. Now, this is a fact you do need to know. Intraspecific competition is much more intense than interspecific competition. And this is because in intraspecific competition, the animals or plants require 100% of the same resources. Whereas for interspecific, they're not going to need the same mating partners. Okay. And their food sources might be a little bit different. Their habitats might be a little bit different. So this is why you will far more frequently see animals of the same species fighting over something than animals of different species. And it quite often it's to do with mating partners and that sort of thing. I mean, this is two kangaroos having a fight here. And the idea is, that, again, it will be territorial and that chances are they'll be male. I think it's amazing as well. If you look at the gif very closely, the way they balance on their tails, their tails are so strong, they balance on their tails to be able to kick. I think that's absolutely amazing. Right, so summary for competition. When two or more organisms require the same resource, competition will occur. Interspecific is competition between members of different species for the same resources. Intraspecific, competition between members of the same species for the same resource, and it's more intense than interspecific. Okay.
So that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one for the final one.